During normal conditions in the Pacific Ocean, trade winds blow west along the equator, taking warm water from South America towards Asia. To replace that warm water, cold water rises from the depths in a process called upwelling. El Niño and La Niña are two opposing climate patterns that break these normal conditions. Scientists call these phenomena the El Niño Southern Oscillation Cycle. El Niño and La Niña can both have global impacts on weather, wildfires, ecosystems and economies. Episodes of El Niño and La Niña typically last 9 to 12 months, but can sometimes last for years. El Niño and La Niña events occur every 2 to 7 years on average, but they don't occur on a regular schedule. Generally, El Niño occurs more frequently than La Niña. In El Niño, the strength of the trade winds diminishes, causing warm water to move towards the west coast of the Americas. El Niño, which translates to little boy in Spanish, was initially observed by South American fishermen during the 1600s when they noticed stretches of abnormally warm water in the Pacific Ocean. These occurrences were referred to as El Niño de Navidad, as it usually reaches its maximum during December. El Niño can have a substantial impact on weather patterns. As a result of the warming of waters, the Pacific jet stream deviates from its usual position towards the south. This change brings about drier and warmer than average conditions in the northern areas of the United States and Canada, while the US Gulf Coast and Southeast experiences more rainfall than normal, resulting in increased incidents of flooding. El Niño has a significant impact on marine life along the Pacific coast. Typically, upwelling draws water from the depths to the surface, providing nutrient-rich cold water. However, during El Niño, upwelling weakens or ceases altogether, resulting in fewer phytoplankton off the coast. This affects the food chain as fish consume phytoplankton, causing a ripple effect on everything that feeds on fish. Warm waters during El Niño also change the dynamics of the ecosystem by bringing in tropical species like yellowtail and albacore tuna that do not usually inhabit colder areas. One of the most significant impacts of El Niño is on weather patterns. During El Niño, there is often a shift in the location and intensity of rainfall around the world. This can lead to droughts in some areas and flooding in others. In the United States, it can bring heavy rain and flooding to California, while causing droughts in other parts of the country. The impact of El Niño on weather patterns can have severe consequences for agriculture and food security. Droughts can lead to crop failures and food shortages, while flooding can damage crops and lead to the loss of livestock. In some cases, the impact it can have on agriculture can even lead to famine in affected regions. As mentioned, El Niño can also have a significant impact on marine ecosystems. The warming of the ocean surface can cause changes in water temperature and circulation, which can have ripple effects throughout the food chain. This can lead to the expiration of marine organisms, including fish and coral reefs, and disrupt entire marine ecosystems. The impact on marine ecosystems can also have significant economic consequences. Fisheries can be disrupted or damaged, leading to the loss of jobs and income for those who depend on them. And El Niño can also lead to an increase in harmful algal blooms, which can be toxic to both marine life and humans, causing illness. In addition to the impact on weather patterns and marine ecosystems, El Niño can also have significant impacts on human health. During El Niño years, there is often an increase in the incidence of diseases such as malaria and dengue fever, which are spread by mosquitoes that thrive in warm and wet conditions. It can also lead to an increase in air pollution, as the warm and stagnant weather conditions can trap pollutants close to the ground. This can exacerbate respiratory problems, especially for people who already have underlying health issues, such as asthma. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has said that El Niño is a natural occurrence that can have significant negative impacts on the environment, economy, and human health. The impact of El Niño on weather patterns can lead to droughts, flooding, and crop failures, which can have severe consequences for agriculture and food security. One way to mitigate the impact of El Niño is through early warning systems and preparedness measures. Governments and communities can work together to develop and implement early warning systems that can alert people to potential El Niño events and take steps to prepare for the impact on weather patterns, agriculture and human health. Flooding is a major natural disaster that affects the United States every year, 
causing extensive damage to infrastructure, homes and businesses. According to estimates, the cost of flooding in the United States is significant, and it continues to rise each year. One of the primary factors contributing to the high cost of flooding in the United States is the sheer frequency of floods. In recent years, there has been an increase in the number of flooding events across the country, with many areas experiencing flooding that is more severe than in the past. In addition to the frequency of floods, the cost of flooding is also driven by the amount of damage that floods cause. Flooding can damage homes and businesses, destroy infrastructure such as roads and bridges, and even threaten lives. The cost of repairing and rebuilding after a flood can be substantial, with estimates ranging from tens of thousands to millions of dollars. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the cost of flooding in the United States has been steadily rising in recent years. In 2020, there were 22 separate billion-dollar weather and climate disasters, which included flooding events across the country. The total cost of these events was estimated to be over $100 billion, with flooding accounting for a significant portion of the damage. One of the most costly floods in recent history was Hurricane Harvey, which hit Texas in 2017. The storm caused widespread flooding, with some areas receiving more than 50 inches of rain. The total cost of the damage caused by Hurricane Harvey was estimated to be around $125 billion, making it one of the costliest natural disasters in US history. The cost of flooding is not just limited to the immediate aftermath of a flood event. There are also long-term costs associated with flooding, such as the cost of rebuilding damaged infrastructure and the cost of dealing with the ongoing impact of flood damage on communities. So, what do you make of El Nino and how it could drastically affect the environment and infrastructure? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.